the ladder. Uju? I'm coming! Oh. My people, this is where yours truly now lives, though. In a mini flat. While awaiting the break I truly deserve. She be then talk say when life throws you lemon, make lemonade. Me I say, when life throw you shit, take and make manure. Well, life has handed me lemons. And I'm making the best of the situations in the best way I can. Hey! Would you see me see life? To say then tell me say it could be like this, I no go believe her. Anyways, Shebi na a person follow me from gate reach my domos. Na ain't go no say no be me get the whole big house. Shout out to Keno, the fake broker's gigolo. He taught me well. Come on, come. So we are now living together, B? Um, I'm sorry. Um, I have a letter for you. What's no problem? Well, it's a reminder to pay your service charge, as it is long overdue. You know the service you're getting is incomparable with what you're paying. So it stresses me out that I have to go through this process almost every month to retrieve something from you. May I remind you, would you, that for 20,000, only 20,000, you get the service of electricity, generator, security, and refuse clearance. You can't get it better anywhere. So pay up. It's, it's the eight already. You're past due by one week. Yeah. You see all these big, big organ landlords and landladies where they live for these lucky areas? They will never cease to amaze me. Wait, oh, so after I pay 400,000 naira as rent, yeah, Leo, these 20, 20,000 naira every month can't be waiting now. As a landlord, one who tell me, she be whether you get tenant or not, light go every day, security go every day, water go every flow, you go come out trash for compound. Which one can't be saying that 20k won't do the magic for this house? If no be 20k every month, would you no go hear word? Wait, oh. You should say no be caretaker the job this morning. <laughs> Don't you think it's time I had a talk with the landlord? Maybe himself no know what's going on. Or make I just keep quiet, sit down for this my small corner. Because as he be say this lucky like eh, all these startup runs guys, they're many, oh. And they are ready to double this 400k when they pay yearly. Come chill up and take this space. So make a just day. Je, 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 je. Because as it be so, the camouflage is good for my image and potential market. The hustle is real low, my people. Somebody listening to you would think I've owed you for several months, Keteka. Thank God it's just one week. Sorry for the delay. I'll pay up soon. Would you? I won't like to come here and hear more stories. Have I told you anyone lately? No, tell me, Keteka. Have I told you any story lately? Eh? How am I supposed to go out and get the money for you if you're going to stand here in my presence and delay me? Okay. I just want to make certain that you keep to your promise. Yeah. So what do you want me to do now, eh, Bikokwa? What do you want me to do? Eh? I mean, you want to stand here and watch me dress up and, and use this your big head as, as my mirror before I can get ready to go out and get you your incomparable service charge money. Please excuse me. Here. Enough here. I'll return after three days. Story, story, story. 
right, my lovelies. What is about to go down is the filming of moi showcasing all my good works to my charity organization. You see, this charity business is more tedious than I'd initially imagined, so I'm upping my game big time to get the desired outcome. Up until now, all I've done is give and give and give again without receiving anything, but now I know better. With a little bit of publicity, the right funds will begin to roll in. So, here we go. And action. Sound. Sound ready. Camera. Camera ready, sir. And action. This is just a token from me, Novet and Kim Obasi, to you, the St. Angelus Orphanage. Please accept this 10 million naira token from the Love Me Love You charity organization owned by me. <gasps> And do something good for those little darlings I saw when I came into your facility. I love those children so much and it just breaks my heart to know that they are motherless and fatherless. Please, I have sworn on my honor, I have sworn to help them through their education. So please accept this from me and my staff. Ten million? Oh no, no, please, please don't get emotional. You make me cry. <laughs> Ten million. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. I still love it. Mm. May God bless you Amen. abundantly. Amen. May God reward you for everything that you have done. Amen. May He bless you for me mm. and for all the children that you have helped with this money. May he replenish you mm -hmm. and reward your charitable heart. Amen. And I pray that every good reward that God has for us will locate and find you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. Sound, cut. Cut. Camera, cut. Makeup! I'm sweating. Gosh. Uh. Me up, I'm sweating. Her nose. Be careful, my contour. Mm. Here, over here. Over here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close the door. Okay. Thank you very much. Are you ready? Yes. Sound? Sound rolling. Camera? Rolling. And action. So, once again, thank you very much. Oh, no, 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 don't thank, thank me. You. Don't thank me. Thank God. I mean, this is what I do and I hope to continue doing. You just keep doing the good work that you do, okay? Ten million. <laughs> Ten million. <laughs> and cut. Thank you. Okay, everybody take ten. Thank you, madam. Bye-bye. I hope you got good taste. Yes, very much so. Good. You need to spread it around, okay? All the media houses, the TV stations, the newspapers, the internet blogs, everybody must see this, okay? All right, uh, call in the next of financial representative and uh, bring in one of those kwashoko looking children. But make sure that he or she doesn't stand next to me, okay? Okay. Do I need a change of outfit? No, no, you look, you look just fine. Mm -hmm. It's all about the work, oh, remember? Oh, yeah, sure. All right. Sorry to bother you, ma, uh, but um, there must be some mistake. Uh, I hope you're not rolling this. No, ma. Yeah, uh, because um, the check states um, one million, but you told me ten million. So, yeah. Really? Yes. I said ten million. Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> it is only in Lekki that beggars have choice. Can you just imagine? 10 million naira ko. 1 billion ni. Look, this woman is very, very lucky that I'm in a good mood, or else she would have left her with 100k today. Can you just imagine how ungrateful she is? Anyway, the paparazzi are here, so I must act accordingly. Oh, um, that must have been a mistake. Mm. I thought I said 1 million. No, you said 10 million. Oh. Oh dear, what do we do now? 
Um, what, well, madam? I mean, one million naira is still a lot of money now. Huh? You know what? Just go for now. I have to attend to so many other orphanage homes that are waiting to come in. Mm -hmm. I'll call you later. Yeah. Okay? Um, thanks all the same. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, uh, we'll be expecting your call. Mm -hmm. God bless you. And uh, you too. Um, bye. Thank you. Um. If you need me to cut out that part or for us to do a retake for that 10 million. No, 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 no. For what now? No, leave it as it is. 10 million. I might still make it up later. You never know. Call in the next person, please. Sorry. Oh, yeah, come and take now. You think it's easy giving our money to, to, to orphanage homes, eh? Fact. I'm beginning to see that this charity business is not so rewarding after all. And I might just decide to stop if this my stunt doesn't bring in cash. I beg, moving on, Jerry, bring in the next person, let me act and go home. I'm already tired, and besides, I still have a hosting to plan towards. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> love it! <Mwah. laughs> CEO Love Me Love You Charity Organization. Girl, how do you do? Ah, I full ground now. I'm where you left me. Hmm, babe. Now you will just the see for TV up and down. Hmm. You're doing a good job. And making sure we all get to see it. Thank oh. you, Jerry. <laughs> so how are you and Aisha doing with yours? Oh, we're doing good. Hmm. Just trying to pull right along. Abba, why are you sounding like that? You're getting international attention too. Yeah, we are. But um, girl, you know how these things are. Endless meetings, correspondences, and proof. And proof they shall get. <laughs> Love it. You know that has never been my cup of tea. Mm -mm. And I'm sure Aisha too is not too keen on the organization, but she's just too ashamed to close and it. And what has Aisha done this time? <laughs> Sweetheart, nothing. We were just chatting about the business. Yeah. So tell me, I hope it wasn't too difficult locating this place. Um, not really, but is this where you live? Uh, yes, but it's just temporary. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's been oh, a long time. I know, right? You know, setting up a business in these parts takes a toll on you, doesn't it? You can <laughs> say that again. Yeah. I told you guys to keep it simple, mm. didn't I? Mm. <laughs> but look, you wanted international attention and had to go all big. Now you complain that it's taking a toll on you. Cleo, you look good. You sure do have a lot of time on your hands. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> But, I hate to say I told you so, but uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Cleo, in all honesty, you know I couldn't possibly do what you're doing. Well, I'm not the one stressing now, am I? Well, but you don't expect me to go around often it is every man giving away free items. Mm -hmm. That's too tedious. <laughs> Besides, I'm too clean for that. I'd rather make donations. Too clean to get your hands dirty for a good cause. Hello, darling. <laughs> wow, that sounds really weird. I mean, I admit that the field work is tedious, but you ladies need to join Cleo and I in what we're doing. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I applaud what you ladies do. You give money to these homes and you get a little publicity for it, but really... Um, peace. Is it just me, or do I detect sarcasm in your tone? Oh, not at all, love it. You know I'm not one to judge. Oh. Please don't, because in the business of charity, the publicity is needed. Exactly my point. You see, if you were born out of your heart's desire, then you won't need validation from international bodies. You would give because the Bible says to give to the poor and the needy. Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 to 4, it says, Beware of practicing your righteousness before others, that you might be seen and praised by them. For you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. So therefore, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpets before you like the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may be praised by people. For they have received their reward. So when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. That way your giving is secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. Oh dear. Peace. Are we there again? I mean, are we back on this born again and plenty, plenty preaching things? Are we there again? Indeed we are. For all things have passed away and, and all, all things, things have become, become new. Mm. Exactly. No. Thank you very much, Peace. We have heard. Uh, ladies, shall we? Uh, oh. I find it quite strange that Peace will sit here, put our jobs down, and stylishly condemn us. But what I find even stranger is the fact that you lot are sitting here and you're taking it with a pinch of salt. In my world, <laughs> that shit ain't cool. 
Aisha, I understand what you mean. But our reaction is based on the fact that we know our friend Peace. She just spills it out for the sake of it. For the sake of it? Wait, do you honestly think I'm just spewing words, blowing whistle? No, honeys, I speak the word, not emptiness. Hush it already, Peace. Abba, we have heard. Miranda, how rude. Hush it, am I a child? Okay, I forgive you, but please don't let that happen again. Look at this one. Who asked for your forgiveness? Don't worry. Your cup will soon run over. Keep talking. Anyway, Aisha, I'm really sorry that I offended you. I, I didn't mean to tick you off. Um, maybe if you get to know me a little better. I'm not sure I want to. At all. Fine. Suit yourself. Will do. Oh, sweetheart. Ease up now, hmm? She has apologized, and that should do, okay? Um, guys, just so you know, Aisha is overly emotional and takes spoken words seriously. So let's just be careful how we flow, okay? Now, wow! Is what's all this one on my couch now? Please get a room, I beg. Uh, awkward. Sweetie. So Lord of Jesus, Miranda. So it's true. What is? You know, I've heard the rumors, but I just, I want to confirm here and now. Are you and I shared lesbian lovers? Look, I, I'm not about to judge, but please read Leviticus 20:13 and Romans chapter 1 verses 26 and 27 and you will see that same-sex intercourse is... Hey, peace. What's up with this, your Miss Goody Two-Shoes attitude? Why act as if you're so holy? Huh? Are you not the one who confessed to sleeping with Williams before taking your stand in court to lie against your friend Lovett? Huh? So who are you deceiving? Who? Cleo, you told her. I trusted you. I'm sorry. We were talking and I mistakenly spilled. Told her to keep it to herself. Wait, 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 wait. Peace, you slept with William. Yeah. Peace, you slept with William! Okay, I hate to say this, and I'm by no means justifying what I did. But Lovette, let's not forget that you slept with Victor. Ah! Oh, so now it's a tooth for a tooth for you, the righteous one. Look, I'm sorry. Okay? It was in the past. I was angry. Oh, you were angry. And in anger, I said, get up and get out of my house before I do something to you. Haba, Lovette, William is your ex now. He's with your sister. He is not with my sister. He is a man. And when you learn a man, he falls. And Victor is what? A woman? I guess when you learn her, she stands strong. Look. Can we just please forget about this and move on? Okay, you slept with my husband, I did the same with yours. Sinful, yes. Ashamed of it, you can count on it, but I've made peace with God and I suggest you do the same. <laughs> this peace has got some nerve. Befriending me after sleeping with William. <laughs> Our God is indeed a merciful God. Otherwise, he would have descended on her the very moment she committed the sinful and abominable act. <laughs> Lovett is a confirmed airhead, that's for sure. I mean, is she seriously upset? Or this is just a diversion? <laughs> I'm confused though. Can someone please explain her anger to me? Of course she has every right to be angry. She's after all not the preachy preachy born again type. She's still in the world and therefore is allowed to commit sin. <laughs> but wait, on the flip side of things, wait and carry peace. Born again peace. Go William House in the first place. Least of all sleeping with him. Hey! We men. I hello. Whether you blame it all on me or not, it doesn't change the fact that I've been through it and I've come out a stronger believer. So this doesn't faze me one bit. For me, it's forward ever, backward never. These friends of Miranda are definitely not my kind. I can't deal, honestly. I'm out of here, never to attend any of their rubbish meetings. Tacky lot. Okay. It's time for me to leave. Ladies. Okay. Mm.
I'm sorry. Um, we'll talk later. I can't believe that you knew such and you kept it away from me. I knew it would get you mad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello? Yes, how are you? And how is that fool, William? Really? Well, that's not my business. I hope you've milked him enough. Good. Then it's time. Sorry for putting you through all that. I'm sorry. You really took your time. You said it was just going to be weeks. But now it's been months. Months and months of pretense. Torture. Friends and family backlash. Me, I don't even know I'm going to show my face in any way again. <sighs> Never mind all that. We'll figure out something to tell them. They'll soon forget all about it. Annette, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go through that. But think about it. Would William have trusted you if you hadn't pretended to fall in love with him and stay that long? Too long, if you ask me. Just too long. I mean, the poor man was even telling me he wanted to go home and see Mama and the family. But I kept on pushing him away, saying that to be awkward without your consent. God punish him wherever he is for thinking our family would just accept him like that. He's a fool. Idiotic scumbag. Um... By the way, let me apologize for fooling you all into believing that Annette knowingly coveted William. Well, she didn't, and now you know, so please forgive me. I mean, I didn't share my secret with you because if I'd let you on in my plans, sorry for get leg now. I mean, don't ask me, but the walls really do have ears. So what do we do now? Sit down. Apart from the scanned documents that you sent to me, were you able to lay your hands on anything else? Mm, he left his account details and online banking details carelessly, and I was able to get my hands on them. I even took note of those two sets of numbers from the token as you requested. Mm -hmm. Then as for money, he's been very generous. I have like six millionaire in my account. <laughs> <laughs> Three of which, he paid last month when you told me to tell him about the collapse of the mm -hmm. village house. Mm -hmm. But best of all, I have a recorded confession of him saying that he bribed the judge and that peace helped him out. Annette, are you serious? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, Annette, you don't know how much better you have just made my life. Honestly, <laughs> well done. Thank you. First things first. We'll withdraw two million naira from that account. Okay. Ah, I knew this plan would work. <laughs> this is awesome. This is this. Ah, Annette, you don't understand. Honestly, you don't understand. Next, we'll have the big reveal. I can't wait to see the look on his face. Epic shot that will be captured. <laughs> but how are you going to do that? Are you going to come to the house or come to which house? William's house. There's no way I'm going there. Oh. How about net? Have you lost it? You want me to go to William's house and reveal that everything had been a payback plan since? The guy can render both of us blind out of anger now. No, it has to happen in the comfort of my space. 
the comfort of your space. Mm -hmm. How are you going to make him come here? When you go home, tell him that I called to say that I'm forgiving you and that I want to see you. Tell him that you don't trust me and that you're not sure of me. So you want him to accompany you. You know what? I'll just send you a text so you can show it to him. How about that? Uh, that sounds like it can work. Mm -hmm. But you told me to pack all my things out before I come here, which I did, and they are at the reception. What if he notices that I've moved out? He won't. Trust me. He'll be too busy being all excited to get the blessing that he has been waiting for. Don't even allow him go up to his room. Your room. Chai, Annette. So me and you have shared the same man. What does it matter? Wasn't I in compliance with your plan? You were, oh, my dear sister. You were. Hmm. I hope this girl will not start thinking that we are mates just because she has been sleeping with my husband, ex or not. I mean, the question that keeps bugging me is if she is or isn't better than me behind closed doors, if you catch my drift. I mean, I've really been wondering, because of the very enthusiastic way with which William handles her, which is nothing close to how he was with me. Man, it just makes me wonder, you know? Anyway, let me not let that evil thought cloud my judgment. Or else, it would affect my relationship with my sister. And uh, we really can't have that because it would be bad for business, seeing as there's an unfinished one at hand. So let me just focus. All right, run along now. <laughs> Wish me luck. You don't need luck. You have him right where you want him. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> right, darling. I'll call you when I get to the house. All right. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Planet of life. Big sis of life. <laughs> Payback in this case will be served cold, and I just can't wait to dish it. <laughs> that fool William must have been completely and utterly foolish to think that I would just sit back and watch him eat my money and then even congratulate him for falling in love with my sister. <laughs> ah, William, you have just confirmed what they always say about men that they think with their third leg when in love. Question of the day though, can a man really fall in love with two sisters? You know we'll have a meeting in one hour. Not so fast, bitch. Look, I have no business with you, princess, so get out of my way. So you do know my name after all. I thought with all the money in your crooked head right now, you would have no recollection of me whatsoever. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I have work to go to. What stupid work are you talking about? The one you set up with my brother's money, is that it? Anyways, good of you to have thought of charity. Very commendable, I should say. A good way to appease the gods for your sins, I suppose. Appease which gods? And, and for what sin? <laughs> Listen, I'm busy. I'm in no mood, like I said earlier, for this crap. Hold on there. So you think you've won, right? You think because he's in jail right now, you have the last laugh. A piece of advice for you, darling. Don't quite spend all the money yet. I am coming for you and real hard. So get ready. Mm. Well, guess what? You don't scare me, really? princess. Oh no, not one bit. And you keep saying his money as if I wasn't a part of the business. <laughs> I worked hard too for the money. So technically it's our money. Amazing to hear that. So now it is our business. 
Really? The, 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 the drug dealing, human trafficking, money laundering business is now admittedly our business? Wow. How, how, I don't even know how you can live with yourself. Feeding off of the same money you tagged dirty. I'm sorry for you. You bit the finger that fed you. Tramped on the one who, who cleaned you up and made you something to look at. You set up the one who got you out of the gutters where you were for years. You set up my brother. The one, the one who cared for you and your bastard child and gave you a reason to leave again. How dare you? I sent to Joe the man who molested my child and threatened to kick me out when I said I was going to make noise. Oh, but what did you expect him to do? To welcome you back with arms open wide after you filed that stupid lawsuit against him? Was that what you expected? Are you even listening to yourself? Are you? Your brother, Prince, molested my six-year-old child for years and kept at it. And you're telling me I shouldn't have called him out? Seriously? Are you, are you even listening to yourself? Do you have blood or water running through you? Aren't you a mother with kids too? Oh, shut up and don't get all sentimental with me. What, what, what is this you're trying to do? Why are you trying to get all moral conscious? What's the big deal if Prince sleeps with her? Is she his daughter or is he her father? Why are you trying to get all moral conscious now when in fact you're the worst of them? Mm -mm. Aisha and Prince's sister. Wow, this is some juice. Let me stay back and watch. Before you married Prince, you knew he had a fetish, didn't you? And you knew he had the very same problem when you willingly left your daughter in his care back at the States. What did you think would happen with the fetish? Oh, wait. You thought he would just nicely go away just because she was underaged? You're actually more stupid than I gave you credit for. I cannot actually believe you're saying this, Princess. Why didn't you take her to a biological father? The same one you always run to every time you had issues with Prince. <laughs> Surprised, are you? <laughs> Don't beat your pretty head up, honey. We know all of your deceitful activities, but let's leave that for another day, shall we? For now, stop deceiving yourself and claiming you did everything to protect your daughter from harm, when in fact you did nothing. And given the circumstances, he had no choice. <sighs> Unbelievable. No, unbelievable. Let me ask you something, princess. Mm. Would you allow your brother, Prince, to sleep with your daughter because he's not a biological father? Huh? Read my lips, bitch. I would gladly give my daughter to my brother to help a situation. Same way I offered myself to him many times before. That's what families do. They help each other out and cover <gasps> for each other. Now I know you are as pathetic, twisted, and messed up like your brother. Get away from me. You are filthy. You stink. Can anyone believe that she's been sleeping with her brother as a way of helping him out? Oh, am I the only one who just heard that? Jesus, there are sicker people in this world that you can ever think possible. Even a pig is much cleaner than you are. Whatever. Aisha, I have you at the back of my palm. And so all the charade that you're putting up will come to an end very soon. Because I know you better than even you know yourself. I just came to warn you to pack up and leave and return to where you were found because I am back to take what's rightfully mine. Okay? Well, for your information, your threat they mean nothing, absolutely nothing to me. Darling, the next time you see me will be the end of you. And that's a promise. You don't scare me. Piss off. Before I let them let security kick you out of here. Nonsense. Trap. Traitor. Story, story. Story, story. Story. I need to make a move though, and I need to make it fast. Things are getting out of hand. The fact that she mentioned my daughter's father is a problem to me. But how did you know I've been in contact with him? Anyway, not to worry. I'm gonna try and sort this out and I'll fill you in later. Oh. 
Okay, fine. Maybe I didn't tell you all my story when I had the chance to. Well, I just couldn't bring myself to say it as it is. If I did, things wouldn't have ended up the way it did. Who would even have thought that she would put up with Princess Mess? Who would do such a thing? What are you an accomplice? A filthy pig. A filthy pig. Hey, 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 baby. I'm good, and you? Listen, I, I need you here immediately. Just get on the next flight and come here right away. Yes, we have a huge problem on our hands. Princess waylaid me in town this morning and she had a lot to say. She even went on to say that she knows that we're in contact. No, she didn't say much after that and that's what worries me. Yeah. No, no, I need you here more than anything else, baby, please. This is the time I need you so much. So you just, just, just come, just come and be by my side, please. Okay, darling. All right, sweetie. Love you too. Okay, bye. Anyway, one thing I left out was the fact that the no good boy who got me pregnant was actually the love of my life. And even when Prince took me away from him, I was still seeing him. Why, you may ask? because we loved each other. And the whole plan was when I made enough money, we would elope. But alas, Prince got wind of the fact that we were seeing each other. Paid him off to start a new life in Senegal. He even threatened that he would kill him if he ever came back to Nigeria. <laughs> but none that the die is cast and Prince is in jail. The coast is clear. So I invited him to come and keep me company in the midst of all this chaos. And there you have it, the truth. Oh, Miranda, you startled me. Why didn't you knock? <laughs> when did I start knocking before coming into the office of my sweetheart? Well, I'm going to introduce that from now on into the rule book for everybody to adhere by it. Okay. I know someone is in a foul mood today and I can't imagine why. Babe, is there something you want get, to Get a grip of yourself. This is an office environment. Any lunatic can just budge it without knocking. In one sentence, Aisha, you have money to call me a lunatic and an unwelcome visitor. Isn't our tigress? Don't take out your frustrations on me. What frustrations? Listen, I, I just want to be left alone, okay? I need to take this call in the conference. Excuse me. Hello? <sighs> okay. Sweetheart. Honey. I better open my eyes and start preparing for the war, so because anything can happen going by what I just saw and experienced. Aisha is showing signs of distress, and her conversation with the anonymous lover gives me cause to worry. But who could this lover be? I mean, who on earth is this lover of hers? Miranda, better wake up, oh, and buckle up fast. Don't get overly relaxed because it is apparent I am no longer in the picture. Sad. Interesting. Oh. Kudima, please where's Miss Aisha? She just stepped out now. This came in for her and it reads extremely urgent. Really? Could you take a look at it? Because deadline dates are within. Okay. Um, okay, I'll just take a look at it and uh, pass it on to her. Hmm? Oh, okay. All right then. Okay. You can go, you can go. I think I'm onto something here. Well, in case you guys are wondering, this is a letter from the United Movement Organization to sponsor eight excellent kids from eight charity affiliated schools. And our charity organization has been enlisted to choose the best child for scholarship purposes. Huh. I'm having ideas just thinking about this. In fact, as I speak to you guys now, an idea is coming to my head, and I will not pass on it. Story, 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 story. Okay. 
Yeah, hello, Timothy. Listen, Timothy, honestly, I wish Victor had brought this up sooner. I know. Well, he didn't want to relieve that sad experience. But as it is now, he can't help it. He'll be there long enough to realize he cannot survive. What needs to be done, must be done. Indeed. Anyway, I'll get to this immediately. Mm. Those perfect will pay. They will definitely pay. And I'll make every proof accessible to all concerned parties and the powers that be. Good. How long will it be before he can get out of there? Uh, it depends. I mean, we could actually plead for an appeal or act for bail. But it seems like all this is going to take a lot of time, wouldn't it? I don't think Victor can survive another day in there. <laughs> Listen, the only way Victor can get out of there is on medical grounds. And that's if his condition cannot be, you know, uh, rectified by the prison medical facility. <sighs> if that's the case, that's a no-brainer. I will give you a doctor's contact. He's a very good friend, and I'm sure he'll help you with whatever you need. Are you asking me to... Look, all you're doing is helping Victor get out of there. You know the truth. He did not molest his daughter. <sighs> Oh. I'm counting on you. Please do everything. I mean, everything you can. Victor must walk free again. Please. I will. I promise. Good girl, you're done with your assignments. Okay, go upstairs then. Let me see yours. Um, okay, that's good. Um, so finish, finish the the last part, and then when you when you're done, then you can go upstairs as well. No, no, honey, wait, 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 just sit. What? Would you let the child come and greet her father? What nonsense is this? Victor, what are you doing here? Is this not my house? You lost it when you lost your mind. You must be out of your brain. This is my house. How did you get out? I have been set free. Are you kidding me? You've been set free. How, Victor? After only a few months? Victor, what did you do? Who did you bribe? I didn't have to bribe anyone, dear wife. The truth set me free, and free I am indeed. Now, if you're done with your interrogation, I beg to be excused so I can go upstairs and clear my head from all the drama that you have put me through. Huh? And did I mention that I am really ashamed and surprised with your act and your approach to this whole matter. Well, I am even more repulsed by you and your unrepentant self. You know what? Fine. Go ahead. Do what you will. But believe me, I will get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Whatever you wish, Peace. Whatever you wish. Okay? I can see that you have settled in nicely. Nice, up to. Or should I say, nice, reader? Oh, please. Ah. Please. Someone wake me up if I'm dreaming, please. Victor is here. 
I'm not joking. Look, he's gone upstairs right now. What should I do? Oh, no way. There is no way I am spending the night in this house. No way. Okay, okay, fine. I, I'm just, I'm just going to grab a few things and, and yeah, I, uh, yeah, princess's school stuff. No, no, she's with me. I'll, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Okay. Listen to me and listen very carefully because this is really important. Okay, sweetie? Um, here. Here, okay. Okay, do you see this number? Okay, now I'm gonna go upstairs to pack your things. If you hear me screaming, I want you to call this number, tell the auntie that answers that mommy is with daddy in the bedroom and she's screaming. Do you understand? Okay, good. I'll be right back. Listen, don't open the door for anybody. Hmm? If, if there's knocking on the door, don't answer the door. All right? Just wait for me, I'll be right back. But how come though? How possible could this be? Anyway, there's no time to ask questions. I just need to grab some stuff and get out. Well, that's what I planned to do. I was just going to grab some vital documents you know, clothes, prince, princess's school stuff, wake Vanessa up and get out of his house for good. But that was not to be because as I was grabbing my things, everything changed. I know I shouldn't have gone up to our bedroom of all places. I mean, come on, this is Victor we're talking about. I should have just got up and got out. But how could I have just left without taking my daughters with me? Oh, God. This is the one time in my life that I truly wish that the, the hands of the clock could be reversed. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, um, I just need to grab some stuff. I'll be out of here, like, in a minute. You're now seen as a monster? Can we at least talk about this? Victor, I'm actually, I'm really in no frame of mind to discuss our issues. But isn't that always what you ask for? Talk, talk, talk. Communication and more talk, talk. Victor, please. Please don't hurt me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to leave in peace, peace, okay? Peace, uh, Listen, I know you don't think much of me right now, but... I will never hurt you. You are my wife. You are the mother of my kids. You are the one that I married. Please, I would hurt you, believe me. No, of course not. You'd rather have your friends do it. Victor, you had your friends rape me while you watched. And now you, 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 you can say that you won't hurt me? Peace. How ironic. Peace. You asked for that, didn't you? You told me you wanted something new, and I gave you just that. Are you listening to yourself? Are you, are you honestly going to stand by that lie? Yes, because it's the truth. Come on. Baby, can we just put that behind us and move on? Come on, I'm back. Come on, baby. 
Can we start again? Can we Baby, I love you to bits. I can't get over your hot body and that. Look at you, looking so sexy and hot. I just want to eat you up. You got me turned on already. Ugh. Listen, prison was no fun, okay? I didn't get my freak on it there, baby. Come on, help help me out here. No. You know what? Let me lock the door so that the kids don't walk in and outside. No, 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 you know, no, 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 Victor, Victor. Listen, I I'm a change man now. I, I think of the I think of these things, you know? <laughs> One second. Nothing to say here except that he won't get away with it. And if he does, then it means I do not serve the ultimate God. Buddha. Oh, that's princess. Oh. Long time. Yes, so. It's been long you visited. I know. <laughs> what brings you here? You ask like you don't know. Your brother? Of course, my brother. Auntie, it's a very sad development. But since this is not the first time, uh, we hope he comes out of it. Sure, he will come out, and that's why I'm here. Do you want to come inside? Auntie Aisha called to leave instructions for us not to let anyone in. I'm sure she did. Anyways, Dinka, you know you and I have come a long way. Yeah. And you have helped me deal with some security issues in time past. Sure. You also know you and I are better acquaintances compared to you and Aisha. <laughs> yes, Princess, of course. But what can I help you with? Good. I don't know what you think, but I have reasons to believe Aisha set my brother up. Hmm? Yes. Well, why would she do something like that? To get her hands on his money. Who knows? Anyways, I want this to stay between you and I. No problem. Good. Is she back from work? No. All right. And does that Cynthia maid still work here? Yes, she's in. Good. How close are you to her? Well, we are close. Dinka, you think I don't know you two are secret lovers? Ah, Auntie Princess, how do you know when you don't live here again? Oh, but I have my ears to the ground. This is my brother we're talking about. And you know, a lot of people are not really who they seem. They're just, you know, jealous of successful people, if you know what I mean. True talk, Princess. Story, 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 story. What's going on here? Good evening, Mr. Mosu. Good evening. My name is Ada from the Project Alert office. This is our security agent. And your two girls are in the car with our police officers. 
What can I do for you? Why have you come to evade my space and my privacy? Is that how you conduct yourselves? No one came here uninvited, sir. We were called. I see. You were called by who? Mr. Musu, you cannot have unconsented sex with your wife, you know. She said no, and you forced her. <laughs> that is rape if you don't know. So you have come into my house to arrest me because I had sex with my wife? First, an unconsented sex, you mean? <laughs> that is rape. In this case, wife rape or married to rape. What the hell are you talking about? Sir, wife or married to rape is a term used to describe a sexual act committed without a person's consent or against a person's will by her husband or ex-husband. Sexual acts may be committed through physical force, threats of force against her or a third person, or an implied harm based on prior assaults causing the woman to fear that physical force will be used if she resists. Mr. Wosu, when a woman submits to sexual act out of fear or coercion, it is rape. Her wife does not need to be putting up a good fight for it to be rape. Sexual acts include, but are not limited to penal vaginal intercourse, insertion of genitals into the mouth or anus, insertion of objects into the vagina or anus, Sir, are you aware that section 258 of the Nigerian law stipulates life imprisonment for you? <laughs> Whoever said I raped her? Your wife has confirmed it. Your daughter heard us screaming and called us. Whoa, my daughter called you. I can see that daddy's girl is being groomed to stand against me. Careful what you teach that girl, please. Don't mess with her head. Victor, please. Can you try not to speak to me at all? Francis, you know this work we do is highly tempting. I mean, we sit here most times under the most unbearable and uncomfortable situation, gathering and watching wealthy people lavish money. It takes willpower and the grace of God to shut our eyes from stealing, or even planning assassination or, 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 or robbery. The reason I'm still here is because the priest was and has been very good to me. And also, I prefer domestic postings rather than going to the field or battlefront. That's just the reason. I'm hoping he returns one day to continue showering us with kindness. Left to Aisha. I met guards who shouldn't even interact with those in the men's house. And how does she treat you? Let's say she treats me like most house owners would treat their guards. Like I said, if not for the willpower I have and the fear of God, her ill treatment of me would have ended her life. Hmm. Not to worry, Dinka. Just hang in there for a little longer. Prince will be out very soon and I shall be out of the way. Out of the way? It's everything all right, Princess? Yes. I hope you're not trying to do something bad to her. Oh, not at all. But she will be judged for what she did to my brother. All I want you to do is make sure you befriend that maid girl very well. Okay? Be very close to her and just so she can allow you access to Aisha's room when she's cleaning, maybe. One of the times Aisha has gone out. What do you want me to do? This. I need you to help me plant this somewhere. Somewhere in her room. Maybe around the chandelier. But if not, any busy spot will be fine. That won't be a problem, but what is this? A recorder? Oh yeah, it's a recording device with a twin receiver and real-time streaming. It has 20 terabytes and 240 hours battery life. Wow! This tiny thing? Oh yes. Huh? Technology. Yep. And it costs over a million naira. And just so you know, Dinka, this is useless without the receiver, which is in my possession. Auntie Princess, you should trust me by now. I do, and that's why I'm telling you this. I don't know, but this seems like trouble. It's not trouble at all, Dimka. What are you talking about? All we want is evidence, that's all. Here. <laughs> Thank you. You're such a good woman. Mm -hmm. I'll help you help my master, Prince. You're welcome. 
Please, Dimka. Don't let her know I was here. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> yeah? All right now. So, I'll wait to receive signal and I'll come and take it out when the time is right. It's all right. Uh-huh. You can take care now. You too. I'm counting on you, Dimka. No problem, princess. You Good. can count on me. Good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Is there something you would like to say on record before we invite you in? You're wasting your time. Because I am not going to honor that invitation. My daughter called you because my wife here told her to. She probably was afraid that something bad would happen. She could not phantom why a man who she put behind the bars of a prison could walk back into the house that she had come to settle into. Fortunately, that which she thought would happen didn't happen. Instead, what happened was a highly tense, passionate love making between a husband and a wife who have great sexual chemistry together. And since peace is one to scream in pleasure, she did so with careless abandon. That's probably what my daughter had. I mistook that for a scream for help. There you have it. My wife is a screamer. Even my daughter will tell you that she screams all the time. I can tell you that she enjoyed it. And she was only screaming out of ecstasy. But there you have it. My side of the story. Now listen to me. Until you can substantially prove rape, I suggest you get out of my house and leave us to enjoy ourselves. Officer, is there anything wrong with me having sex with my beautiful wife here? <laughs> Very well then. We will leave now. But note that when next this happens, you will be arrested. Thank you very much, madam, and I'm highly grateful. Why don't you go home to your husband and have him hit that spot, make you scream? Looks like you need some. Excuse me. <laughs> I was caught unawares. I was unguarded. I trusted the system and I couldn't for a second believe that he would be released so soon after he was put in. But how on earth did it happen? How, how, how was he released? Well, first he brought forward an overwhelming evidence that his lawyer used to plead the case. Then he sought for a medical attention for a condition that cannot be contained in the prison's facility. Hmm. I see. And I'm curious, what, what, what overwhelming evidence do you speak of? The recording of the molestation act. A disgusting one, I tell you. He had a recording? You didn't know he had cameras in his room? I mean, when we first met, I knew he recorded stuff, but after we got married, I told him not to, and I am very certain that he didn't plan any. Uh, maybe he did when you separated from him. Knowing Victor, I'm sure. That explains it then. I mean, if he had such evidence, why didn't he bring it forward at the hearing? He says he was ashamed and didn't want people to see it and have his princess stigmatized. I'm afraid to ask, but what was on the recording? His friend and princess. But oh just my God. so you know, his friend has since been arrested. He's in custody awaiting trial. This is confusing me. So Victor didn't do it. But I saw him. I saw him with the knife in his hand, pointed at my daughter. My daughter was was in the towel. She had just had a shower after she had been battered. Son of Jesus, Victor! Get away from my child! Victor, what is this? Ah, Victor, I suspected it. Oh my God, oh, Victor! Victor, your child, the child from your loins. I saw how it happened, my dear. I saw it. 
When he came into the room and realized that his friend had molested your daughter, he picked the knife that his friend had oranges with and went after him. But he escaped. The wig and the knife were still in his hands when your daughter walked in from the bathroom. And soon after you. Uh, she, she, she came here and she, she came looking for you. She was all dressed up. She said, said she, was, she wanted to play the, 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 the pretend game. What are see, you saying to me? Listen, listen. See, I, 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 I don't even know what you I'm sorry. I can arrange for you to watch it if you want. Oh, please, God, no. No, I... Mm -mm. I just die if I have to relieve that sad experience. I'm so sorry, mother. This is a very sad case. This is so confusing. This is so confusing. What, what do I do? <laughs> you have to think of what you want going forward. Oh, God. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I want a divorce. Madam, you've been separated before. You know how that felt. Are you sure you want a divorce? Yes, I'm sure. All right, then I'll arrange for a lawyer to speak to you. Please do. Thank you so much. It's okay. And uh, one, one, more, one last thing. This release, does it mean that he now has the right to see his kids? <sighs> well, as it stands, yes. Oh, God, no. But I suggest you have those visits monitored. He's a pervert and a sex addict. We cannot risk that. Okay, sure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Do take care of yourself. You too. Unbelievable. I can't believe I have to face him again. Oh, what a mess this whole thing is. Cocoa. <laughs> hmm? This is very tasty. You mm. prepared this? Of course, Mom, I did. Mm. You make a good wife someday for your man. <laughs> I know. Mana, don't let it be too long before it happens. Oh, Mom, mm. I hear you. I'll let you know when I find one. Yeah? You mean there is not yet? Ah, uh -uh. I mean, it's been long now. It's been long the devil was put to shame. Look, let me tell you, not all men are bad, though. There are still some good ones out there. Eh? Try and choose yourself one. Look at your father now. Eh? He's a good man, and that's why I married him. <laughs> Akoko. You see, Guinea David. What did you hear? Akoko. Guinea Akoko, Or are you trying to tell me you are otherwise? <laughs> My dear wife. I am the same David that married you over 20 years ago. And since then, you have been calling me names. You called me a terrible husband and a bad man. So I am surprised that it is a man like me that you will want for your daughter. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know why you can't be serious. Hmm. Cleo, your daughter here, deserves to get a good man. And instead of you to help me, in talking to her, in order to not 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 collaborate with her, so not 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 just making side talks. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, let me allow you to continue with your daughter with your so-called confidential matter. I have resolved never to put my mouth in any marriage-related matter. Before I get called more names, I still remember the names you called me when all went sour with Otunga. <laughs> Ozuka, David, Bingo! What? I don't want you to ever mention that name again. Well, that doesn't change the fact that you called me names. <laughs> David, David, the mama. Uh, don't patronize me, please. <laughs> Biko, let bygone be bygone now. After all, you, 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 you call me names too. Eh? For, for the past 20 years, we have been married. You, you've been calling me names, but upon that, on the chikwano. Lezie nunu. Le nunu asama. Hmm? Lenu tomato jossum, Leziana Sabbath is special. Eh? Leziana, check out my product. Eh? A well blossomed woman who can cook very well and also keep a home just like me. Iki. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. But really, I am very fine all on my own. So don't worry about me, huh? 
uh, hurry up and finish your food before it gets cold. Plus, shouldn't you guys be leaving before it gets dark? Ah, you are very correct, my daughter. We should get going. Uh -huh. Ne, finish up and let us um, start leaving. Eh. Yeah. Hmm. So you're not going to say anything about her status? Oh. Well. Technically, you are still married to Otumba. Gene! To Fiawa! God forbid. Gene! What? Azimbawa! What's all that for? Who, who is married to who? Is it not bread price is paid? Uh -huh, yeah. I have. I have told it to him in the prison yard. Enoria, after all, what marriage is, is conducted in, in the secret between only him and two of us? Do you call that a marriage? Is that how you married me? Oh. Oh, oh. So. Now you have mouth to talk. When you prepared the long list for him, you didn't know it was marriage, huh? Let me remind you. You even added provision store to the list. Are you not the one that said I should write it? Don't point fingers at me, oh. Because if you point fingers at me, I'm down. I'll point back at you. Nemwaya, bacharanya ge. Don't let me start with you. Start. Dad. No, what, what can you start? Eh? Are you the first person to start? Start, yeah, they that him ready for you. Oh, um. Really? Calm down. Emma, Cleopatra, look at me very well. As far as Mumuabo Clara, your mother, is concerned, you are not. You, you will not marry that old wicked man, Enroya. So get yourself another man and move on with your, with your life. Cleopatra, my daughter. Whether a man brings ten kobo to a woman's house as bridal fees, as long as it is collected, it remains a bride price. And until such monies are returned in similar ceremony, the marriage still stands. Nsigi, go to prison yard and return his money. Enria, or if you cannot go, I will go. Well, my darling daughter, if you want to defile tradition and find yourself another man, I will not stop you. Whenever you're ready, I'll be there to support your choice. Just be sure you find the right one this time, please. Yeah, she will find. I will, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, this is such a different scenario from the past in my family. I mean, apart from the constant exchange of words and disagreement my parents have, there is respect for my person. And for once, they will actually allow me to find my path and my man. <laughs> what a difference time has brought. Or should I say, money. Anyhow, may God help me in finding the right one because I honestly not want to fall into the wrong hands again. Mm -mm. Let my heart lead me to the right one. Story, 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 story. Hello, Ne. Good evening, Ma. Ne, it is late already now. You haven't slept. <laughs> All right. Carry on. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ma. I've heard you. Mm. Look, Nne, the work is sustainable and I am the company's accountant. So do not worry about how the money is coming in. As long as it is coming in, let us enjoy it now. Okay. As for saving, 
I will save. But when I have it in quantum. But for now, I am going to be doing as much spending as needed. Nay, nee, don't worry now. I said I'm in charge. Yes, ma. Good night, ma. Sleep, ma. I can't believe my mom is saying that I should save up for the kids. What is this society turning into? Why should I be the one to save up for the children? Don't they have a father? Eh? Ever since that, their useless father left. He hasn't as much as sent a penny, even if it's for biscuit or chewing gum. And now mom is putting pressure on me that I should save up for the children. Hmm. Anyways, she got me thinking. I should save for tomorrow. But what can I save from 700000 a month salary? Eh? Maybe I'm not making enough money from that place. So. Anyways, I know what to do. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hmm. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm good. Mm, babe, it's been a while we did this, you know. Why do you say that? That's because you've been off lately. Uh, I've come to this house several times and each time your people wouldn't even let me in. They said you left instructions. They said that to you? Yeah. Oh, they must have mistaken you for Prince's sister whom I've left strict instructions not to let in. Mm hmm. That's weird. I mean, we don't have similar names, and we certainly don't look alike. Oh, honey, you know how these people are. They take one instruction or another, and they just run with it. I also rang you. Rang and rang, and your phones rang out. I could have sworn you were home, because that day I saw all your rights. Who was with you? Honey, I must have passed out after drinking a whole bottle of champagne. And what's with all these questions? Okay. Babe, see, you have really been distant from me. You know? I mean, is there something you want to talk about? You know, the whole saga with Princess, we never go around to talking about it. Hmm? Hmm? This girl must really think I'm that into her. When my man was away and I needed to get by, she was good for the period. But now that he's back in the picture and he'll soon return, honey, slow your roll with all their overprotective love talk. Because after all, you're the one to be dismissed soon. Uh, babe, um, I just said she dropped off a letter, a very urgent one from one of our foreign charitable organizations. Did you get the chance to open it? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've not opened it, but don't worry, I'll take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Him, me that I've started making plans already. Oh, babe, now that I'm here now and I finally have your ears, <laughs> there's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. What is it? You know, I've worked with you for months now, and I am very much vested in this business. <laughs> Honey, I prefer you call it a non-profit organization. <laughs> Charity business. Yes, I know. No. No, 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 no. Charity is charity, not a profitable organization. Our purpose is to help communities. Money becomes necessary for the running of the organization. Yes, I know there are more profitable organizations than non-profit organizations, but ours is what it is. Miranda, you shouldn't be asking me this. You should know. Hapa, Aisha, are you now going to lecture me on what is and is not charity? Hapa. Look, I'm sorry. You were just, you kept going at it. 
Babe, whatever I choose to call it does not take away from what it really is. Anyways, what I was trying to tell you before you went off on me like that is that I have worked here long enough to get paid some good money. Is 700,000 Naira not enough for you? I quit my job for this, you know. Babe, the only reason why I'm paying you this much is because I know you have nothing doing on the side. So you asking for a raise is just pushing it. You are not making this much at the bank, especially after all your tax deductions. Do you see why you should never disclose your innermost secrets to fair weather friends like Aisha? Hear her now. Using my old salary to compare to what she's paying me now. Me, Miranda. Try! I don't suffer. Anyways, no wahala. Many people would jump at opportunities to make the amount you're making, especially some accountants. Be content, please. This one is going straight into your pocket. Aisha, I hope you know that I keep the books in this company and I know what goes in and come out. I mean, the company has been getting good monies from government quarters and international bodies. Oh, so you want me to give it all to you? Don't be ridiculous, babe. I didn't say give all to me. All I'm asking for is a raise. <laughs> Plus, you have not been treating me well lately. I mean, for example, look at my office where you kept me. A cubicle. I am in a cubicle Why you are in an executive, spacious office. Him. Honey, with all due respect, you're just an accountant and I am the CEO, so I don't know what else you, you're expecting. Story, story, just forget it, okay? Story, story, story. You've got to be kidding me. See this, baby? Aisha, there is a saying that goes, before you, I was. You can try and figure out what that means. Story, 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 story. Customer, how now? Fine, welcome. How market? Could they try? Oh yeah, this is April, how much? Which one? This one. Ah, this one, uh, 500 naira. Uh, 500 naira. I'm to wait now. Uh, which 500 naira? May I give you 50 naira? 50 naira? That for this Obroko? No, I no sell anti. Ah, uh, customer. Now me, they carry face for. Obroko no the market. Ah, uh ah, -uh, no. Customer, why you they carry face now for me? Oh, yeah, make I give you 100 naira. Make we just settle now. It's fresh, so. Obroko, why? Just buy. Just yesterday, now they say whether it's fresh. Madam, see, go for the other line, for the back of arm. You go see Oboroko of last year. You go even if you get them for three naira, B. Uh, but this one, now 400 naira, now I go sell them last. She, she don't come out inside. Customer, calm down. 300 naira, move. This is what this team will do another thing, I beg. So you dress like this, finish like happening, madam. You can't the price Oboroko waiting, fly the price there, buddy. I beg, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come I beg you, hold yourself. Now, now, wait it. I not blame you. Now, this lucky wife, they don't spoil market for one for year. They don't the price anything. They tell me, open the last week, open the this week. Carry your wings. Go, stay where you are. You see, say, most of these lucky women don't spoil market for also. Why would I buy stock fish when I they buy 50 naira for mainland, 500 naira for year, until say, na lucky? It's terrible. 
It is a wet ride. 